Ooh, girl, let me move Miss Dijon over and... Hey, girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Scorpio, for January 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot video today, let me know in the comments below uh, how this resonates in the comments, because that's how I keep up with you. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you just enjoy my vibe for today as well, Scorpio, all right? Uh, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Scorpio, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific. As well, be looking for the code word that pops up somewhere in this video, Scorpio that you write down in the comments below to be entered into a chance to win a completely free tarot reading by me all right so let's see what it is that you're currently dealing with scorpio let's see where the vibes are at currently darling all right we have the four swords coming in for you darling all right scorpio all right we also have the knight of pentacles coming in here hmm, okay and then for your other card here we have the justice energy here libra energy all right uh here scorpio back of the deck energy is this magician <sighs> i don't know if recently scorpio y'all have gotten into some type of fight or misunderstanding in a situation here um or if this there's like something that's happened in like some type of project or work situation for you scorpio but i feel like the main message that comes around here where is something i want to be telling you is like they'll come around the situ situation is going to come around the situation is going to uh find its way of improving essentially here scorpio you know when you have this four of swords energy coming in here the four of swords represents meditation and just healing overall just healing here uh gaining perspective you know and so think about the four of swords where it's just like locking away in your room and just you know as time progresses like things start coming together that was at one point shattered here it is probably taking a little bit longer than what you were hoping for scorpio just because of this knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight out of all the knights here but the thing about the knight of pentacles is that uh it gets to its destination all right it always gets to its destination here and so then with this justice energy libra energy here darling this is letting me know an overall message here where it's like some of you guys maybe you got into a fight with a loved one um in your life or maybe some something in like the workplace or uh something just went haywire i feel in your life scorpio and so for some of you guys i want to just hopefully bring you some peace of mind scorpio even if there's no communication even if you are at the standstill in your life currently because you just don't really know where to go from here you know, you get the affirming message here that things are going to be coming back into balance real soon, whatever the case is. And then uh, let me know in those comments below, Scorpio, what is this about, right? Is this about a person? Is this about a project that randomly just went south in some way, right? It is definitely going to be working itself out, though, for sure. All right, so let's start pulling some clarifiers about this here, Scorpio. All right, let's see if we, if we can flesh out this message a little bit more. You have the Knight of Pentacles coming in on top of your Four of Swords, Scorpio. All right. Second Knight of Pentacles coming in for you, darling. Okay. Clarifying your Knight of Pentacles, we have this Fool energy coming in here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be working itself out for sure, Scorpio. And then clarifying your justice energy, we got to the Ten of Swords. So there's definitely some type of misunderstanding here, Scorpio. There's something that... uh definitely brought forth some disappointment back of the deck is the ace of pentacles stepping forward too so uh what i really want to be telling you scorpio is that you know the healing process it may be taking you longer than uh, taking the longer than what you are hoping for probably here but again you're with the knight of pentacles coming in twice for you darling it's definitely going to see its way through here all right give this a little bit more time now i hear for some of you scorpios you're just like well i ain't got any more time velka and i'm just like well what can you do darling all right sometimes things just do not go off of our timetables right sometimes we just have to just let uh the universe or people just progress in the way that they need to be progressing right because you know when it comes to humans especially like think uh humans are a fickle thing darling right you know there's no um manual sheet with how to deal with humans because we're all just very unique uh knight of pentacles being clarified by the fool energy here so if there was definitely a fight and i kind of get that sense with the ten of swords as well or just some type of uproar 
here scorpio um you guys are going to you are going to be able to start with a clean slate with this right you know give it a business day or two give it a weekend you know give it as long as it needs to be getting to, uh handling itself scorpio uh so that you're able to see the other side of this all right i feel like you guys don't want to be rushing this process any you know the, probably the biggest thing to that y'all are going to be challenging yourself with scorpio is just accepting the fact of just like waiting for this to be coming around all right so i feel like for many of you scorpios you already feel ready to just begin the next next phase here you don't like this uh waiting period but um it's definitely essential here right with that ten of swords message there uh it's definitely sharing this theme right here scorpio where it's like you have the closures of cycles with the tens because that's what tens represent here and uh with this artwork of the ten of swords you're starting to see the sun come up after a dark period here and so two cards especially with the full energy here as well really emphasizing the sense of a clean slate here scorpio now in the back of the deck with the ace of pentacles again and just another reaffirming for you a message for you guys scorpio where things are going to be working out in your favor all right give this more time all right give this more time don't rush this process here i feel like everything is happening in the time frame that it needs to be happening in even if there is a little bit of impatience on your side of things scorpio all right give this a little bit more time if there isn't communication right now that just that's fine darling that just means that they're healing right that just means that they're going through their four swords experience meditating on it thinking through the situation or even just with projects you know time is the best healer honey all right so uh let's see what else is going down for you scorpio let's see what else is uh happening for you honey all right what else is happening for my scorpios here let's do one more bridge shuffle here scorpio and then we'll start pulling the cards all right what else is going down for my scorpios at this point in time in january five of cups energy stepping forward to you darling and then scorpio we got the seven of wands stepping forward and then of course scorpio we got this magician energy honey all right and so what i want to be telling you guys this is the second time magicians making its appearance in here as well uh for you you know i feel like a lot of you guys are feeling powerless in your life right now and the fact of the matter is scorpio you're being asked by your spiritual team to uh shift where your gaze is shift your perspective some some of you guys are so emotionally invested in your situation currently which is understandable darling right i mean this is your life that we're talking about right um some of you guys are so invested into it currently and so um you know you want to shift your perspective you know stop looking at what happened over here and start looking at what's been going on behind you what's been work uh in the works here all right i do feel like you guys are going to be caught by surprise it's a just an intuitive feeling that i'm getting here um based like i don't feel like a lot of you guys are aware about what's going on here with that two of cups with these two cups rather being filled all right i don't feel as if you guys are anticipating having that full energy having that justice energy bringing things back into balance it's almost like for some of you scorpios you're almost convincing yourself now of where it's like oh like it's all done and it's like too late to have things work out anymore you know very much so like going into like a little bit of a pessimism uh vibe is what i'm getting here all right now with the seven of wands coming in here and this magician energy yeah scorpio you know you're not powerless to the situation here is something i want to be letting y'all know about you're not powerless to the situation here the magician is always someone who is able to manifest the reality that they want to be seeing in the world right and the back of the deck being the hermit energy here some of you uh scorpios need to remember who the heck you actually are darling all right i feel as if this because of whatever happened in your life scorpio recently here right whatever disruption what have you this really took a blow to your own ego and just like your own uh perception of how you see yourself right and so i feel like some of you scorpios need to take a long hard look in the mirror and tell yourself and remind yourself being like how you are the one honey all right um some of you scorpios and it kind of bothers me here to see you guys feeling like in this disempowered place here scorpio and so i really just want to like take you by the shoulders and just like uh shake you just because i'm just like all right scorpio this isn't this isn't who this is what this isn't who you are darling this isn't who you are this is giving me very much so like eight of swords energy that you probably are feeling currently but let's start expounding on these messages here 
you know, I feel like the best course of action for you right now, Scorpio, is just to be left to your own devices. But, you know, make sure you're holding your mindset accountable. Don't spiral too much. You have the Page of Swords, Scorpio, clarifying the Five of Cups here with the Tower Energy Dialing, Scorpio, with the Seven of Wands here. And then we got <laughs> Scorpio. We got the Four of Cups, and then I accidentally pulled another card here, but the Eight of Swords here. I love it when I'm good at my job, Scorpio, all right? My intuition, she is never wrong, honey, all right? She is never wrong here. So really this theme that I'm getting for you guys, Scorpio, here is like, because of this disruption, darling, I actually like seeing this Tower energy on the Seven of Wands because it kind of follows in theme with that full energy here where you're talking about the clean slates and what have you. I feel like the Tower energy is the best course of action for you because it's like, you don't want to pick up from where things left off at from beforehand. You want to start into a different uh, point of view here. You have the Five of Cups being clarified by the Page of Swords here. So you definitely have these two cups that I was talking about here, watching and waiting, whether, um, again, for some of you guys, if this is like some type of misunderstanding with a person here, I feel like they have just been kind of watching you from afar, maybe not communicating necessarily, Scorpio, but there's definitely like things working on in the background here. It's giving me like an analogy where it's like, Scorpio, y'all got into a fight with like your best friend or a family member or a loved one, you know, just a loved one, honey. Um... And then you think that they're mad at you and they don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. And in reality, they're planning like a little bit of a surprise get together with you. And it's going to give you like a complete 180 of like a hanged man moment. You're like, oh, you know, but you're just so in your head right now. All right. You're so overtly focused on um, what isn't there that, again, this is another card with this four of cups here, Scorpio, um, being clarified by the magician energies where um, you're so hyper focused on what's in front of you you currently that you're not aware about the things that are in the works behind you all right there's this consistent here uh, theme here scorpio with the cups always behind you something that you're not realizing here very much so like a four cups energy here as well you know and as i said beforehand scorpio with this eight of swords energy that's what i felt like you were in uh currently where you feel pretty powerless even what it is that you see in the mirror, Scorpio, isn't reality of who you actually are. You know, your vision's really clouded right now. Whatever the situation is here, Scorpio, it really t took a blow to just your overall just being current being here all right um but again you're being told by your your spiritual team scorpio to shift your perspective darling all right shift your perspective because things like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what happens here all right because there's definitely some things in the works that you're not aware about all right and you're gonna it's like you you know going back to that friend analogy it's like you think they're mad at you and then you're gonna just feel so silly that you even had all the thoughts that you had prior uh scorpio once you get you know once you finally get your shift views shifted to where those cups were right so please i like i some of you scorpios will need to watch this reading back a couple of times to notice the theme of just even the imagery in the artwork of these cards right because there's a lot of consistent themes here that i'm personally at least noticing scorpio right so let's get into your third row what is it that you need to be watching for uh scorpio and what do you don't you see coming towards you currently let's take a look here you have the Ten of Cups, what I tell you, darling. You don't anticipate this. You actually are going to be having that happily ever after with the situation, honey. All right, get out of your head right now, Scorpio. I promise you things are going to be working out. And then the moon energy, you hear. Oh my God, Scorpio. This is literally, oh, girl, we connected right now, Scorpio. And then this tower energy coming in here back of the deck is the six of cups coming in here you know this is the energy of something from your past coming back in here scorpio all right and so the ten of cups you look at the artwork of the ten of cups scorpio and that's again that family situation scorpio <clears throat> excuse me your cups being just overall fulfillment right here scorpio and then that's that is being covered by the guise of the moon energy scorpio it's being covered by that moon energy you know and that's things going on beneath the surface leak lurking in the shadows that you don't see coming tower energy again this is where it's going to be like once this comes to light it really greatly alters things for you scorpio but again in a very positive way here all right in a very positive way all right so let's clarify this uh these cards here finally 
Scorpio. Yeah, several a lot of you guys, Scorpio, need to watch this reading back because like as like a tarot reader, right? It's very easy for me to see these themes and just how this reading is flowing, honey. But it's crazy like how this is going. Uh so we have the seven of wands coming in here, clarifying the ten of cups. And then clarifying the moon energy, we have the king of wands here. Notice another theme with the king of wands. This is a lion watching another individual. So another card watching, you know, there's this theme here, Scorpio, where it's like, you feel like you've been left alone high and dry here, but you've never been alone. And then the moon energy coming in once again, Scorpio, I mean, a lot of cards repeating themselves um, on the, the tower energy back of the deck is the two of wands here all right and so for you scorpio the overall theme here darling is that you are you were never alone in the first place scorpio you thought you were alone you thought you were abandoned but you were never alone at one point in your life all right you know sometimes it can feel like you've been abandoned by everybody and everything right when things go haywire but you know this is a spread here darling letting you know it's like you weren't not you were not alone at any point you always had people watching over you even if there wasn't communication uh for a while uh scorpio they still have been watching and waiting Waiting at the for the right moment to approach you and to reconnect with you even this is your spiritual team making sure that uh, that your back is covered here scorpio you've always been taken care of you were never alone in here right so there's a lot going on that you don't realize scorpio but in a positive way here right and again, I like this tower energy, especially with this moon energy, because it's like currently right now, you don't see how like you can't really conceptualize how things can change up for the better. You can't see how things can improve right now, Scorpio. But reality is, darling, it is going to be changing. All right. And again, for the better, when you have when someone's planning a surprise party for you, darling, right, you don't anticipate it because the, then isn't a surprise party. Right. So let's clarify. Um Let's uh, wrap up your tarot reading here with some oracle cards here, Scorpio. You have here the North Node, step out of your comfort zone, which I feel like your comfort zone currently, Scorpio, is that little, is that sense of uh, spiraling into those negative narratives. If I am going to just call you out, Scorpio, which I am. All right, step out of your comfort zone in this way, uh, Scorpio. Challenge your mindset, challenge how you're processing things currently, because again, you're going to be pleasantly surprised by uh, what actually is going to be coming in. And then <laughs> Scorpio, the condor energy, you're too enmeshed in the situation. So step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action. Didn't I just say earlier in this tarot reading here, Scorpio, that some of you guys are too emotionally invested in the situation that you're not clearly seeing the other cups behind you and all that dialing. I love it when the Oracle cards have my back darling all right your spiritual team is calling you out just the same as my intuition is darling all right scorpio so have patience at this time scorpio don't get yourself in a place of feeling too overwhelmed darling all right i love you so much this is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you for january 2022 scorpio if you enjoyed this tarot reading be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to book a private to personal reading reading with me scorpio my website's linked down below simply velcro dot com next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of that just being simply welcome all right scorpio i love you so much darling and i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling